for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are just walking by and not listening. Big fish. We giving out the word free. We break the word better than your pastor. Your pastor tell you that God loves everybody. According to the Bible, that's not true. Your pastor told you that you're going to be saved no matter what the hell you do. Right. That's not true. Once saved, always saved. You got pastors saying that if you're a homosexual, that God still loves you. Right. That's not true. If you really want to get the understanding of God and how to turn back to God and get back into his good graces, you need to start asking questions now. Right? You're not supposed to be running and getting abroad to buy something. Don't you know that today is the holy day of the Lord? Right, right. It's the Shabbat. It's the Sabbath of the Lord. But uh, 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 the Christian church will tell you it's Sunday, right? But what's the first day of the week? Sunday. The first day of the week is Sunday. The Lord said the Sabbath, the day of rest, is the seventh day of the week, which is Saturday. So you take your money, you get your check, and you splurge it all in the... Uh, all in the Christian church the next day, or you splurge it today or money, fool, when you're not supposed to be buying nothing. This is a day for you to rest. You, you see, a lot of us are in the midst of sin because we're breaking the Shabbat and we thinking and we asking, why does the Lord not deal with us, right? All right, keep going. He said that I know him and keep of not his commandments is a liar. The Lord said, if you say that you know God and don't keep his commandments, you're a liar. Right? Because the Lord told us from the beginning and to the end that we got to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. You're not running from it. You can't run from that. Keep going. Is a liar and the truth is not in him. You're a liar and the truth of God is not in you. Give me 1 John 5 and 3. So you need to understand the, the importance of the commandments of God. If you think that you're going to get in heaven without keeping no laws, right, you ain't making it. All right, Jesus Christo is not going to help you if you're not keeping the commandments. All right, you need to keep them. If you ain't keeping the commandments, you're done, done. All right, you're finished. First John 5, chapter 3. For the love of God that we keep his commandments. This is the love of God, that you keep his commandments, right? If you don't keep the commandments of God, you're not loving God. It's that quick. That's what, that, that's what happens when you get a bunch of white people reading a book that's meant for black people and try to teach black people that book. The book is not about them. The Bible is only for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It's not for nobody else. Right, you need to learn it from another person like you. Nobody else. I right, keep going on that. All right, bring it up. First John five verse three, and his commandments are not grievous. The Lord's commandments is not hard, man. Do you think it's hard to keep keep the laws of God? Do you think it's hard to take a day off on Saturday? Do you think it's hard to take a day off on Saturday? What the hell is going on over here? Oh. <laughs> man, you, you the love folly, man. All right, give me Leviticus 11. You think it's hard to stop eating shrimp? Shrimp is a, a shrimp. Scavenger. It's a scavenger, right. man. It's a right, sea right. roach. That's right. See, the brother knows, man. He even knows. But y'all think it's hard, man. I saw a woman eating a 10-pound shrimp. Had a whole bowl of butter. The old man. This shrimp was as big as her head, man. She was eating the shrimp as big as her head, smacking on it. That thing was disgusting, man. It looked like she was eating a large spider. But you don't lay that to heart. Right, a lot of these bottom feeders that we eat, like the shrimp, the crab, the lobster, they're bottom feeders. That's why the ocean is so polluted. Why? Because they clean and filter out all the filth in the ocean. Where do you think they feed shrimp? 
They feed shrimp, human feces at the shrimp farm. That's what they eat. That, yeah, they, they feed shrimp, human feces at the shrimp farm. That's how the shrimp grow and, and build. And it's known that you are what you eat. If you eating shrimp, you is eating doo-doo. And guess what? You is doo-doo. Right? And you trying to find out where your organs are shutting down. You trying to find out where you got hypertension, high blood pressure, because you is doo-doo. That's what you eat, man. All right, keep going. Give me that Leviticus. Oh, my God. Dude. Look at that. Man, he look like he mixed chemicals. I saw you on Breaking Bad. That's disgusting. Look at that woman. Right. That's right. Right. Keep going. Would you give me Leviticus 7? Uh, Leviticus 7. <laughs> See, these Caucasians, man, they're, they're finished, man. They're finished. Don't you know that the so-called white woman is closer to being a man than any other woman on the face of the earth because they got the lowest amount of estrogen in their body? Right, keep going. The book of Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven-footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. It says the swine, that pope, that pope. Y'all love pig, man. Y'all love all that pig, man. Pork chop, lamb, hog maw, snout. I like the hooves. I like the, the, the pig ears. You, you can see the, the, the people, you can see our people. Look, cause I know T.D. Jakes. T.D. Jakes, I know he eat hog, man, because he's turning to a damn pig. Badass. Look at his ears. Look at T.D. Jakes ears. He looks like he got pig ears. You can't do right. Look at T.D. Jake's neck. He looks like he got the neck of a pig. Right. Right. You are what you eat, man. He looks like a damn swine. You worried about hog mob. You worried about bacon. But how, you see, man, the, this place is wicked and full of a latent with iniquity, right? You throw bacon on bacon. Who does that? <laughs> you throw bacon on bacon. Bacon bits on bacon bones. Right. Bring that out, Lock. You can't, you, you can't go to a regular fast food restaurant where I'm destroying, to, throwing some disgusting bacon on your burger. Bacon this, bacon that, bacon this, bacon on the ice cream. Who the hell puts bacon on ice cream? Right. But the devil, the Bible speaks about. Man. That's right. And, and say you it. wonder why you got hypertension, high cholesterol. So but look at Esau, man. So Esau, man. he's working out. You Negroes don't do that. All right, keep going. Verse 8, of their flesh shall you not eat, and their carcass shall you not touch. They are unclean to you. But the Lord said, I don't care what you say. My mama said that if it's on a plate, you're going to eat it. My daddy said, I better eat everything on that plate. My, my grandmama said that if I'm hungry, I better eat anything that she's going to give me. You out your mind. The Lord straight up said, you don't even touch that. It's unclean to you. The flesh, you don't eat. But y'all want to eat it. You make it a, a hot commodity. That's how you know the earth is upside down, man. That one of the most disgusting creatures on the face of the earth is a hot commodity. It, it's, it's good to people. When, they, when people hear 